What's up guys, uh, Said here and uh, today I have the CLA 45 AMG and the owner is actually right beside me but uh, he doesn't want to be on camera. This car uh, stock comes with about 380 horsepower uh, but the owner of this car tuned it to about 500 horsepower. So and this 500 horsepower comes from a 2 litre turbocharged engine so that's quite amazing actually. That's 250 horsepower per litre which is more than some Ferraris like a Ferrari 488, Porsche 911, GT2 and that's even more than the Bugatti Chiron which only has 180 horsepower per litre. So the owner of this car tuned it to 500 horsepower and 0 to 100 time is about, stop is 4.2 seconds but because he tuned it I'm pretty sure it's around the 4 second mark or even lesser and it also comes with 734 newton meters of torque so right now we are just uh, driving around in uh, comfort mode i'm gonna uh, put the car in sports plus and what happens when you put it in sports plus is that the exhaust node will open up and you can really oh, just as i was about to <laughs> just as i was about to speed up there's a traffic police parked by the side of the road So uh, let's drive off first So just putting my foot down, not even all the way Just like maybe 30-40% for like 1 second And I'm already reaching the speed limit So this car it's uh, pretty dangerous I would say To drive on Singapore roads especially if you don't want to get in trouble so a little background about this car this car is about one year plus yeah, one year plus years old as of uh, the time of this filming which is july 2019 the bricks are also very they are strong but they are not the uh, too strong like it's just nice like you know sometimes when you drive like maybe a car with a six spot calipers yeah it, it bites and then you just yeah and then you you have to you like jerk forward when you brake but this one is very i think it's just nice for this car but the exhaust mode is very it's very noticeable in comfort mode and in sports plus you can really hear the difference so i'm not sure the camera can pick up the the exhaust sound but it sounds pretty pretty, pretty good but then again the exhaust is the car just sounds so good that you keep you just want to rev it all day this car is so fun to drive i actually forgot to ask the owner all the important questions <laughs> so the owner told me that uh, stock the car doesn't really have any turbo lag and you know now that he tuned it uh, you know turbo lag i think is a thing of the past uh, i can't really feel there's no turbo lag and the car just responds like the response is immediate it's just wow. <laughs> now i know why you bought an amg so the owner of this car previous uh, prior to this amg he was driving a c200 and uh, he got poisoned by a few members of the Mercedes uh, group Singapore and uh, he went for a joyride in one of the... A which AMG was it? It's an A45 A45 He went for a joyride in the A45 AMG and immediately he got poisoned and he got so impressed and tempted by the power and the ferocity of the A45 that he decided to trade in his uh, C200 for this CLA45 and uh, he's, uh, I would say, quite daring because uh, he bought this car without his wife knowing and uh, <laughs> I think not many guys would uh, dare to do that The sus suspension for this car is also pretty compliant, I would say, for such a one AMG It's actually very... It's compliant, it's firm, but it's also very compliant So I think daily driving this car is not a problem What you like about the car, I would 
say is uh, the power lah basically the performance yeah. the just the power and the exhaust note lah the power. power power is the most important okay. and the thing you dislike about this car is the rear seat space yeah actually it's not that bad eh. the space in the back is actually pretty good I mean uh, knee, knee room is uh, pretty alright uh, headroom for someone who are 1.75 like me should be fine but someone a bit taller maybe like 1.8 you may have to slouch a bit yeah. but for 3 adults in the 3 adults can fit in the back three but adults. probably not for long distances yeah. yeah one more thing the owner doesn't like is that practicality uh, in terms of storage space isn't that good uh, the, for example the glove box and this uh, the space in this center console is quite small but I mean given the size of this car I think it's like it's, it's all right it's acceptable uh, right yeah it's not and you buy an AMG for performance not for yeah. practicality so yeah the thing the owner likes most about this car is the power uh, number two I would say probably the exhaust rate. yeah exhaust yeah <laughs> or upgrades that the owner did on this car number one pain protection film to protect the entire car this was the one that cost about four thousand four yeah, thousand plus dollars uh you had the car resprayed the roof the roof was resprayed resprayed to black uh tuning to 500 horsepower alpha air filter uh coating car coating okay Interior steaming and cleaning, ambient lighting. Oh, the side. Ambient lighting, interior interior lighting. Stickers, <laughs> stickers and horsepower. Uh. Camera to prevent uh, the car from hitting the curb. Front bumper. I road is the cam uh, dash cam. Reinforce all the strut bars. Is it? Yeah. How many strut bars do you? Have? A lot. A lot. <laughs> The owner that has so many strut bars, he doesn't even know how many he has. But probably around four to five, I would say. Maybe. Uh, uh, probably four to five strut bars. Boost meter, this one. Yeah. Redo tinting. Okay, window tinting. Uh, interior white LEDs. Ten point two five screen. What was it? This one. Oh, this. Oh, you upgrade. Yeah. This is not the. Doesn't come with the car. No. So, infotainment screen uh, upgrade, original AMG interior dash panel. This is oh this one. Uh, okay. Uh, carbon fiber backing. Oh this one. I hope this camera can pick. 
pick up the uh, pops and crackles of the exhaust because if he can't then uh, he's really missing out <laughs> Okay guys, so I forgot to film the ending to the video. <laughs> but that's about it for the CLA 45 AMG review. I hope you guys uh, liked it. Uh, do like, share and subscribe to this channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.